before we start, let us, we're going to commit uh, this short program into the hands of God. So at this point in time, let me call on Princess Enohudo to pray for us. To pray for us. Mama, please, you join us in prayer. Thank you, Mama. In Jesus' name, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for the great opportunity you've given to us. First thing to be alive to see you do like this. We will be unto your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for bringing everyone of us that came down here to see the general. We pray that as we come, we go back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. We commit every activity we want to do to go into the hands of God. That Father, we come and perfect it in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, we commit this form into your hands. And Father, may your blessings continue to be upon this form in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> listen down, listen down. I'm kind of happy to be with you. And, um, you know, this is a word we want to present to you. Actually, happened something. Or two months back. No, last month. Last month. And you couldn't come. You said, Cornell, please, stand in for me. You know, when the military man gave you an instruction, you cannot say no. And you being the patron of the platform, you have to mobilize our men to go and represent. So today we are here to present, formally present the award to you. Uh, because before the award happened, we did a, a lot of uh, background check concerning what you've been able to do in the military. You've been able to do so much as far as the background check was concerned. And all of us from the press, from the media, over 50 of us, led by uh, Ambassador Queen Eno Udo, who happened to be the convener of the award, we now all agree to just be really able to support. Because you see, uh, what we discover about um, the service is when you are doing something better and you have the support of the press, then God will continue to bless you more. So at this point in time, let me not uh, take much of our time. Let me allow Emma to please say something that will now present the award. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, sir. Um, very quickly, I want to take the time. I'd like to appreciate the fact that I was given this great, great chance to actually come down here and actually present this award to China. First thing I'd like to thank Ambassador Kunami Dofia for his support towards John, not just me, my organization, and even the uh, National Integrity Award, which I happen to be the convener. And the uh, National Integrity Award is actually four years, going to four years now. Uh, for the past four years, we've been um, appreciating and celebrating distinguished personalities. And we just don't give out awards to everyone we meet or just come and collect awards though. Just like he said, we have a group of journalists who are actually the ones who sit down and actually screen and you know check profiles of people that will because the name integrity is very, very important. So if you are giving out that kind of an award and the person does not fit that particular um, that name, it's it's an error on our side. So thank God this year um, the award was very successful very very successful it was held at the golden gates restaurant uh, on the 11th of november and we had top distinguished personalities that came all with mapicha some came from edo state outside lagos because they've they've been following up the the organization for some years now and then uh, general himself was supposed to be there we actually kept his table nobody sat at that table ambassador right yes nobody except him no so nobody sat at that table because we're like, ah, the general is coming. But well, as God will have it, because God knows best, he, uh, he was not able to come. But still, that regard and that respect was there for him. So, sir, um, as the for National Integrity Awards, sir, I want to say once again, we appreciate you, sir, and uh, we appreciate everything you're doing in the military. Sometimes it looks like people are not saying this thing, but people are actually saying it. Try the media people, they're actually following your story bumper to bumper to bumper and uh, mommy thank you so much because without you there is no you that's the truth without you there is no you thank you for your prayers thank you for everything you do keep doing what you do and what in your strength in Jesus name. Amen. 
Mommy, just like uh, Princess said, you are a pillar of support yes. to your husband. Your husband is a man that loves his people. He loves, he doesn't, he loves Nigerians, and he is, he doesn't talk much. He's a man with very few words, but um, full of action. The last time you came to, the last time I saw you was, <coughs> sorry, was when my cousin was promoted to a uh, two-star general in the Navy, and I invited the general, I came with you, and that was the last time I saw you, and I was very happy that you came with him. And um, our prayer is for God to continue to bless this home, bless his career. Amen. Our prayer for him right from time is one day, by the special grace of God, he will also become the king of army staff. Amen. Hallelujah. In Nigeria. Amen. So that all of us that know him when he started will also yes. enjoy the, 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 the benefits. That's our prayer for him. Amen. And, um, we love him, we respect him. Uh, before this award, before this very one, we have actually honored him at least twice at when he was when he was yeah. here. Yes. We have honored him twice as our patron and of course with an award too. So this one too, he was not even expecting it. You come as a surprise to him. So like I said, we are here to present the award. So let me call on the convener to step forward. So, sir, on behalf of the National Integrity Award twenty twenty three. The team of the of the event on that day was celebrating outstanding leaders and achievers. Celebrating outstanding leaders and achievers. Presented to Brigadier General I.E. Akpa Omontia as the most outstanding military officer of the year, 2023. So let me have an idea what to aim of the event. On behalf of National Integrity Award, which I, Princess Inoga, happen to be the convener, I would like to present this honorable award. I will call it honorable because it doesn't just come on a daily basis. So this honorable award to Brigadier General I.E. Akramontia as the Outstanding Military Officer of the Year. Woo! Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, Congratulations sir. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. The ambassador and the other members of the CMC. I, I counted a privilege. Me, I've not seen you before. I've just seen you for the first time. Oh, I, I was at your single. Okay, you know that kind of, that kind of the day, you could not even. <laughs> so, so, for the first time, this is the very first time I've seen you. And uh, you know, the, when you asked me, you know, there was an award for me, and I said, "What have I done?" So you have the award. That was the question, sir. He said, "He said, uh, he said some things, this is that, that is this." But I, I counted the privilege first of God. Um, my wife and uh, the children and the children of Afghanistan because in, in the first place I was not posted here I wouldn't have the opportunity so I want my family to children of Afghanistan uh, who could have the in me to, to, to be here and 
and um, the support of my family and you people too. So we, we try to be uh, putting our best in anywhere we find ourselves. I say it and I will say it again. All what that is happening to us or what we've done, we are just the grace of God. Yes. Because it's it's uh, by being here, opportunity God gave us. That's why we're able to do some little things that uh, uh, that we will uh, We were here, we moved to Kogi. In the time we were in Kogi, God also helped us. Oh. And so it's a question I would have asked. If this is not the grace of God, if we say all this put together is not the grace of God, I wonder what is the grace of God. What then is the grace of God? If all this is not the grace of God. And so I, I want to thank you. This, um, for me, it's uh, more, more to us, more is being expected of us to, to put in the best for whatever we do. You should not ever think that nobody is saying yes. because I don't know it now before. <laughs> Somebody might say, okay, it's because of family, but God knows I am seeing her for the first time today. Right. Seeing for the very first time today. And so um, I would just want to thank God and I want to encourage you people to do what you are doing and um, God will help you. Amen. God will help us. God will help Nigeria. Amen. I believe in the project Nigeria. Amen. I believe in the project Nigeria. Or we could be we're going through some stress around the country now, but there's season for everything. The Bible says there's season for everything under the sun. So the hard times we go, and uh, we can even still smile in the hard times. In the hard times, God could really do what we would not have expected. And so um, I believe in Nigeria, and I believe we will smile. Amen. I uh, hope it will be renewed. It's, it's renewed. And, uh, have the reason to, to thank God once again. Thank you for coming. I'm very, very grateful. God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Sir, so, so before you go, uh, as the patron of the CMC platform of the kids uh, that actually provide this platform for the National Independence Award for coming, what message do you have for all the members of the gladiators, including some, some of their colleagues, some of their friends? that happen to be on the platform, what message do you have for them? Just make sure you do what you are doing that you know is right. Mm. Just just do and be yourself. Mm. I think it's one thing that we, we we should do at any time. Be yourself. And there's no trying to do what you are not. Mm. Because when you do what you are not, very soon you just see that uh, you are real, you will come, you will beat or you will sweep away that side that you are trying to present, be who you are at all times, and that will bring you out. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. With the state of the condition in Nigeria right now, in terms of security, will you say the government is actually doing their best in that area in terms of security, sir? Look, as a look, security person? the government is doing much, so much. You see, it's not everything you see on the on, on the screen. on the screen on the pages of newspaper. Mm. The president is putting in his best, mm. and I'm telling you, you see, it, when you go lay here when there are bombings, you don't know how many soldiers you lose yes. per day. Mm. And these are also Nigerians. They have families. They have children. They yes. have brothers. They have mm. parents. They are doing a lot. You see, we are stretched. Most of the job we are doing is police job. Mm. It is supposed to be police. But we cannot sit down and watch things going wrong. The government, the children minister is, look, if you, if you meet that man, you will know he does not have time to rest. He's putting as much as it, look, it's, it's, the journey is just beginning. But I am optimistic that uh, our hope is renewed to have a better tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, finally, sir. I just learned from your colleague, uh, the former um, commander of this very this this uh, command, the man that you handed over to. Uh, that is um, Brigadier General um, Edith. 
he told me that all of you were having a conference with the chief of army staff. So for you, what kind of person is the current chief of army staff? Well, you see, I was not for that conference because I'm in defense headquarters. That was absolutely for the army. But the chief of army staff, the little I know about him, I was in year one where he was in his five year, in his fifth year, so you see that the distance is that. But, but I know him. He was one of our directing staff in the staff college. He is a thorough man. If you go to him and you, you are bringing a job for him to see, please, sir, do you come, do you, can you help me look at this? He will look at it. He will go through everything. Every detail. Every detail. He's a detailed man. He's a practical man. He's an academic man. So he's all side, all area. Academics is there. Practical. When he was in GOC one day, you, you, he was able to pin those guys down. Mm. And when he moved to the chief of uh, operations, he was equally there. He is a man you can you can count. Yeah. He is a man you can count. Okay. So I, I, no fear at all. The army chief is is a round peg in a round hole. 